What's happening? Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the good and bad stuff inside the world of Apple. Now, there's so many iPhone 5 rumors floating around there, and we ignore a lot of them, but many of you have been writing in to ask what's been happening with the iPhone 5. So, we have a little rumor roundup for you from the past week and a half. So, first off, get your save the date on your calendar ready until the actual date is announced. But according to the iPhone blog and 9to5Mac, Apple is targeting pre-orders for the next iPhone on the last days of September, either the 29th or the 30th, and shooting for a launch date in early October, and even as early as October the 7th or the 14th. So more and more guesses, you can bet, are pointing to October now. Now everyone is questioned if the iPhone will come with 4G or not. No one has confirmed it yet, but the Boy Genius Report has obtained information and documentation that shows Apple carrier partners are at the very least testing iPhone models with LTE capabilities. Again, this doesn't mean the next iPhone will have LTE, but Apple is actively testing them with their networks. Then 4G rumors got even hotter after Engadget Tipsters reported a major Apple store was getting LTE 4G equipment installed by AT&T, but battery life issues and the 4G chip size in the thinner iPhone form factor aren't really ready for prime time just yet. And what about the looks of the phone? We've seen plenty of concepts. Some say it will resemble the current iPhone 4, and others say it will be drastically different. Well, Mac Rumors took things another step further by commissioning a company to create high-quality renderings based on the allegedly leaked iPhone 5 case designs that have been pretty accurate in the past. Now, the renderings look pretty nice with the elongated home button and taper design, but just consider this an imagination of the next iPhone. It's kind of like how I imagine 